Nearly 1,000 high school students took part in the 7th Annual Junior Achievement Stock Market Challenge. Channel 8's Anthony Diagostino was at UNL's Innovation Campus and shows you what they were competing for. Teams of four will have $1 million in mock stock and they compete in fictitious companies and the, one, the team with the highest portfolio at the end of the two hour competition um, wins the, the best investor. We want to make this experience um, as a real of an experience as possible. We know that kids learn through doing and by really having a, a real world experience and so that's what we're trying to provide for them today. I think it benefits a lot because it gives kids our age insight to business. In a crowded room full of students all fighting to make the most money, they all had similar answers as to why they enjoy this event. Uh, just the excitement and just the craziness of having to manage everything. Just like the chaos and just like being around other people that are interested in stocks. The rush of it, there's a lot of people here and it's like crazy but it's so fun. According to the president of the organization, they have stock market challenges across the country. But this stock market challenge in Nebraska is the largest in the nation. This is not only an experience that they can, it will help them be able to make personal financial decisions for the rest of their lives, but also it helps in determining their career choices. A few years ago, Waverly won this competition, and this team hopes they can follow in their footsteps. One of the teams that was from Waverly just like went all in at the last second and they won the whole thing, so I want to do the same thing. At the end of the day, a team from Utah took home the first place trophy, and coming in second was one of Lincoln Southeast teams. Third was a team from Ashland Greenwood, all three of them earning a place in the national competition. Reporting in Lincoln, Anthony Diagostino, Channel 8 News.